Hello, James. A little bit different from Pennsylvania, right, where you spent your entire career. Erie, Pennsylvania, went to high school there, college at Pitt, first four years in the league. How have you adjusted to life in the desert? Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been easy to adjust. Um, everything is just going lovely out here. I love the vibes. Uh, man, this team, this team is special. So um, it's just been an awesome change for me, and everything is going extremely well. Yeah, well, let me tell you, it's not easy to... Uh, I guess it's not difficult maybe to adjust when the sun shines as much as it does out there in the desert. So we got no sympathy for you out there in the wintertime. I want to talk about your team's success, the 7-0 start, and now the only 10-win team in the league. And despite the key injuries, James, to big players, J.J. Watt, Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, they've missed multiple games with injuries. But you've been able to yeah. keep winning. What's the biggest reason for that? Uh, man, just accountability. You know, um, guys stepping up. A uh, guy just being all in, you know, and we just have that one and no mentality. Um, we understand that every guy in the helmet, you know, has the opportunity to impact the game and, and, and help us, you know, get a victory. So, uh, yeah, key, key guys went down, but uh, that means guys to step up. So just playing for one another. Yeah, I, I want to talk about you, too, though, specifically, because if you go back to the beginning of this calendar year, a lot of after a lot of early success in Pittsburgh, what was going through your mind when you basically knew the Steelers probably were not going to bring you back? You're going to be a free agent, have to start over somewhere else what was that like for you to think about changing um you know I just embraced it I understand you know just uh you know God has a plan for me you know and everything that I do so uh realizing you know that my time with the Steelers are probably going to come to an end um you know I just I just trusted my faith I trusted you know my talents my work ethic you know I just knew that um the next situation you know just to make the most of it by being you know prepared uh, mentally and physically so um you know just betting on myself again uh, you know, I have to do that year in, year out. And so uh, I just embrace the challenges and all that comes with it. Um, you know, the journey is a destination. So uh, it's just truly blessed. And, uh, you know, this AZ welcomed me with open arms. And uh, now we're rolling and uh, we're trying to do big things. Yeah, and I just went through your numbers. 12 rushing touchdowns. Jonathan Taylor is the only one ahead of you. Uh, and how about career franchise, franchise history for the Cardinals? David Johnson is the only guy that's had more in a single season. you got more games to go. Can, can you take me through what the difference has been for you. Besides staying healthy, James, this is arguably the best season of your career. Why? Oh, man. Hard work, prayers, and uh, this opportunity, uh, playing my role. Um, you know, this it makes it easy when you know, I got the weapons around me, you know, Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins and an offensive line and, man, playing off with Chase and uh, AJ Green, I, I can I can literally uh, you know just go through our roster and uh, you know this is this is just an awesome group to be a part of and weapons are everywhere so um, I just play my role. We get down in that red zone, you know, trying to do stuff in the middle of the field, um, just being available. It's a, it's honestly just a little yeah. bit of everything, uh, you know. It's just been working. So just continue to play my role and uh, just you know just maximize my opportunities. One thing I know about you is that you have always believed in yourself, no matter what others think of you. You just said it, betting on yourself. I found out that you wrote a book last year, and, and I didn't realize yes. this, shame on me. I'll take a look at it, because the, the, the cover of it to me is perfectly appropriate for you. Fear is a mm -hmm. choice. The subtitle, Tackling Life's Challenges with Dignity, Faith, and Determination. First of all, writing a book is a massive undertaking. Why did you want to do that, and what did you gain from it? Uh, man, you know, I just, uh, I just thought it was an incredible opportunity for me to continue to give hope and inspiration to others. Um, you know, Tiffany Brooks was awesome. She helped me write it. And, um, you know, there's just going to be adversity and hardships, you know, throughout life. And uh, you just got to, you can't run from it. That's why the title is Fear is a Choice. And so we just wanted to create something that was a timeless piece, you know, that we can continue to go back and look and just try to help us in life. And so, uh, yeah, tackling life challenges with dignity, faith, and determination. Um, there's going to be hardships. And so, uh, you know, just trying to help others. That's, uh, that's, you know, I feel like that's my life's purpose mm -hmm. is to give hope and inspiration. It's well documented that you fought and you beat cancer while you were in college at Pitt. You talk about fear. I guess it's safe to assume or it's easy to assume that was maybe the time in your life where you were most fearful. Take us back to that time, James. Yeah, uh, rough times, you know, in 2015. Um, you know, but by the grace of God, he let me get through it. And, um, you know, at, very, at first I was scared. You know, I did not know what to expect and know what type of you know, reaction I was going to have or what even chemotherapy was, what cancer was. Um, so to find out a lot about myself and uh, was able to beat it through. And now, you know, I'm involved in that uh, community. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's been awesome. I wouldn't change anything. And was that my, during my time at the University of Pittsburgh and, 
And so uh, shout out to the Pitt Panthers. You know, we ACC champs now, too. So uh, we came a long way, um, you know, and just everything is uh, everything is just a blessing. You fought it so valiantly. It was so impressive to see how you did that at such a young age. And as you know, it's, it's V Week here. We, we take cancer and cancer research so seriously. And I know you talk about that in your book. What do you hope people take from it? If they, if they pick up the book and read it, what's your goal for that they leave with it when it comes to James Conner, the person, the human being? Um, just this, that, uh, that they're never alone. And, um, you know, God is all around, you know, and, um, that that uh you know you just believe in yourself you know and just use your imagination that's my, that's my main thing that that got me through it um you know when I was sitting in that chair getting chemotherapy I was just you know used to just close my eyes and imagine you know better days and and um you know what life looked like ahead and so uh that's what I just try to you know pr you know uh express to others is just use your imagination and uh, you can be anything you want to be is this what you imagined it would look like absolutely you know sitting uh sitting back at my mother's house in Erie, you know, talking with my brothers, talking about, you know, you know, uh, what free agency looks like and also sitting in that chemo chair and, and visualizing getting back to the field. So uh, my next move is always, you know, always get planned in my head uh, before we live it out. And so uh, just uh, it's, been, it's been awesome, you know, just to be able to, you know, use my brain and, and try to just help me yeah. guide me through life with also with the guidance of God. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.